Today we made a cake. Not any cake because cakes are boring. We made a brain cake. What are you doing here, sir? I'm squeezing a lemon mm -hmm. to put into the buttermilk to cure it. Is that what you're doing? Yes. The recipe calls for, the ratio is one cup of milk to one tablespoon of lemon juice. Don't, don't do this. So right now, we are making the cake itself. This calls for vegetable oil. Adding the sugar. So right now we are adding the butter to the cake mixture. Brandon's cracking the eggs. So we, the recipe calls for three eggs. Crack them individually and don't get the whites in. How would you crack more eggs than one? So, don't want to get the whites in there because they're poisonous. What? Yeah, white, the, the eggshells are poisonous. Oh, that's not the white, that's the shell. So right now we're doing our dry ingredients in, in here. In a separate bowl. Separate bowl. Three with, cups flour. And then we add cocoa and salt. Yeah. Alright, so right now we're adding one tablespoon of cocoa. You always want to flatten the top of it to make sure you got an exact measurement. Wow. And that's it. So right now we're adding a half tablespoon of salt to our dry teaspoon, mix. Teaspoon, half teaspoon. My apologies. And half a teaspoon to the dry mix to then add to our wet mix later on. Mix it Be all careful. together and you know that it's the best of both worlds. Be careful. Now we're going to mix it in the mixer for about five minutes until it's light and fluffy. <laughs> Gonna add some red in here, and we're also gonna add a little bit of blue to make it a nice dark velvety color. Just a little bit. Just a little. Yeah, just a little. Now we're gonna mix again. Now we're preheating the oven to 350 degrees to heat up all of our ingredients to get our reactions that we want to rise the cake. Now, we are adding our dry mixture and the buttermilk. We're alternating it with four parts of the dry mixture and three parts of the buttermilk. So right now he's putting one-fourth of that in. And next, he is going to put one-third of the buttermilk. Now we're going to do this until all of it's in there. Okay, so now here's the fun part. We're doing baking soda and vinegar so you know what's going to happen. I'm using my baby fork. I'm just going to dump this in and mix it together. And we're doing it over the sink, in case it fizzes everywhere and destroys the kitchen. Oh god. Oh my god. Which is also a chemical reaction in itself, so that's pretty cool. Chemistry. Adding it to the mixture. Putting the batter in our pan. Put in the oven. Ew. Looks nice. Okay, so now I'm just popping that in the oven, which has been preheated to 350. And we're gonna cook it, or bake it, I mean, on 350 for 45 minutes. Turn! No. Nine! We have removed our cakes from the oven, and now we're gonna make it brain shape. So I've cut off the sides here to make it more of a round brain shape. We don't need to make it too detailed because we will be detailing the brain pattern thing with the fondant that I've dyed a pinkish color for brain. Bunch of excess here, we're probably just gonna eat that after we're done with it. I'm gonna take these skewers out. And now we're gonna get to the fondant. Now that we have sufficiently frosted the cake, we're going to lay the brain colored fondant down in a brainy pattern. There's no particular rhyme or reason to this, because brains are brains. We're going to repeat this a lot until the brain is fully covered and all brainy looking. So now we have put some seedless jam in a little bag. And the lovely assistant here is assistant. lovely Ethan Burns here. 
is putting the jam all over the brain, make it look all gross and bloody. I'm gonna slather that on there in a thin layer, and then it's gonna look awesome. And then we'll be done. This is our, our finished brain. Covered it in the raspberry jam. Sort of red velvet, but sort of not. Looking pretty gross and creepy, but it's awesome. I dig it.